Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to put whole numbers into standard form. Now when I say standard form, I mean that we're going to write numbers in number form. So we're going to write the number using only digits. So we have three examples that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. Numbers one and two, we're going to go from word form to standard form. And number three, we're going to go from expanded form to standard form. So let's jump into number one, where we have 62,314. So we're going to take our time, break this word form down, and make sure we properly convert it to standard form. So we'll start with this 62 here. So let's write out our 62. And we know it's going to be in the thousands period. So that 62 has to have a value of 62,000. So we're in the thousands period there, and we know the ones period comes next. So let's see what we have to wrap this up. We have 314. So we know we need a three in the hundreds period uh, because we need a three with a value of 300. And then we have 14, so a one in the tens and then a four in the ones. My suggestion would be to always double check that your word form and standard form matches. So 62,000, 314. Read it out loud and make sure it matches that word form. And in this case, we properly went from word form to standard form. So on to number two, where we have a larger number in value here. So we're going to step it up a notch. And we have 18 billion, 34 million, 200. So let's start with this 18. So let's write out 18. And we know it's going to be in the billions period. So after the billions period comes the millions period. Let's see if we have any millions. 34 million. So we need a 34 in the millions period. So let's put a zero here, a three, and a four. So that gives us 34 million. A common mistake would be writing 340 there and thinking this would represent 34. But in fact, that's 340 million. So be very careful. After the millions, we have the thousands period. So let's take a look at our word form. 18 billion, 34 million, 200. So we don't have anything in the thousands period. So we need to fill that with zeros. And then we go to the ones period where we have 200. So we need a two in the hundreds place to represent that 200, a zero in the tens, and a zero in the ones. So let's double check that that standard form matches our word form. 18 billion, 34 million, we don't have anything in the thousands period, and we wrap it up with 200. So we match there. Our standard form matches our word form. Lastly, number three, where we have expanded form. So we need to start with this five here, and that five has a value of 500 million. So we'll write this five, and we know it has to have a value of 500 million. So that's the place we're starting, the 100 millions place. So the next place to the right would be the 10 millions place. So let's go to this number here and see where that nine is going to be. We have a nine that's going to be in the millions place. So we don't have anything in the 10 millions. When it comes to expanded form, everything's in order. So you don't need to look around. We just go from left to right. So we don't have anything in the 10 millions. Our next place is the millions, which we have this nine right here. So nine in the millions, comma. Our next place is the hundred thousands place. So let's see what our next number is. We have a one with a value of 100,000. So let's put that one in the hundred thousands place. The next place is the 10 thousands place. So let's look to the right here and we have 7,000. So that's not going to, that seven is not going to be in the 10 thousands place. It's going to be in the thousands place. So we could put a zero in the 10 thousands and then we have this seven in the thousands. So we need a seven in the thousands to represent that 7,000. Comma, next we have the hundreds place. 
we have a 60 that comes next. So we need a six in the tens place. So that's not going to help us with the hundreds place there. We don't have anything that has a value um, in the hundreds. So we have a zero. Next is the tens place. And we talked about this six here that has a value of 60. So we have six in the tens. And that's our last number there in our expanded form but we do need to wrap it up with a zero in the ones. We don't have anything that's going to have a uh, value in the ones place there. So that's our final answer and we can double check. We have 500 million. So this five has a value of 500 million. Then we have nine million. So that nine has a value of 9 million. 100,000 right here nothing in the 10,000s place. Then we have a seven with a value of 7,000, nothing in the hundreds place. Then we have a six with a value of 60. So that's represented right there. And then we don't have anything in the ones place. So we fill it with a zero there. So 509,107,060. So there you have it. There's a few examples of how to go from um, either word form or expanded form to standard form. And again, standard form, we're writing the numbers out using only digits. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.